you can start recording, bro. <laughs> I also just pressed record on mine, like just now. Alright, alright. <laughs> oh shit, bro. Yours doesn't look like it's recording yet. Alright. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, uh. It's been a long while, eh? <laughs> <laughs> After uh, a little break of seven months. Only a little break, though. Seven months. Yeah, we're uh, we're back in it. Back at it. Yeah, back in the in the Bangla house. Uh huh. Right here. Um, and for like those of you that don't recognize where this is this is the backyard of my house <laughs> and right back here is don't, don't, don't start. maybe you guys can see later if Mattis wants to take the camera to you guys maybe we'll put up a picture here if Mattis can, Mattis can do that post edit yeah 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 but basically uh, I'm gonna edit that out <laughs> see now I, I have post Post edit control now. You know? I wish I knew how to edit. No, or not even that. I wish I had the patience to learn how to edit. Yeah, do, do we want to go through the story of why, like, we decided to stop and come back? Uh, yeah. You want to start? Yeah, sure, bro. It, it was a lot of work, and yeah. he was extremely <laughs> lazy as like a, a what you, like a co-host and a and a producer. True. So um. I, <laughs> bro, you're not even gonna put up a defense. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. It's fully true. Cause like uh, uh, the other night, I told you the story. You no, know, we're like uh, me and the boys were playing. Uh, well, we weren't playing anything, but we were all chilling in one room. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we were all bored. We're like, okay, what game can we play? Yeah. We said, okay, let's give each other our first impressions that we had of each other. Let's say one good thing and a negative thing, and something we can improve on. And like right. for me, when it comes to my part, like I already knew what everyone's answer was gonna be, but it was just nice to hear from everyone. It was all the same. It was like, yeah, he's really good guy, but he's lazy but as fuck. But that Nilo guy is lazy. He's you know? lazy as fuck. And I was like, yeah, I need to work on that. They weren't even using like your name. They were just like saying he. This guy, <laughs> lazy <laughs> this, as fuck. This, this guy is just fucking lazy. Dude. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it, it's kind of hard to do everything on your own, you know. But then yeah. uh, in the end, like some time passed and I picked up a, a bunch of projects I have this internship going on and before you know it like I was doing basically what I was complaining about having to do for Midnight Kebab but for other projects and I realized you know what if I'm gonna do this sort of thing anyways I might as well put you know I might as well do it for something where I'm putting my own creative thoughts into it you know and yeah thing. and the dynamic at Midnight Kebab how it works is basically uh, Mattis does all the editing he does all the putting everything together I send him the files for the audio like <laughs> basically my job here is to just sit down and talk to you guys and yeah. maybe sometimes make the thumbnail for the YouTube video Yeah. which even then I do quite poorly yeah and, and now uh, apparently actually are, I take that back my are, fucking are, are, thumbnails are yeah. art my thumbnails except are except for like art. the last six that have all been a black screen with two random no, but faces. That's me saying a statement, you know, like, you know oh, how people Donda. make a statement with art. Donda. Donda. Right. <laughs> I was on that Donda vibe for so long. <laughs> BLM, we were all posting black squares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We were posting our thumbnails. Our, yeah, exactly, bro. We were just ahead of the behind the times, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ahead of the future. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the past, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta like, stay ahead of the past. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and so now now we're doing it again, and uh, I think now I'm gonna have to do the Instagram as well because I, I think it's a shame to do all of this without promoting it like to to Zoomers on Instagram with uh, short clips, you know? Right. So this also reminds me that I was the person in charge of our social media. At yeah. Some so point. now that that's me now. So so, <laughs> so yeah. So that's also matters. Uh, but but maybe if I'm gonna do the clips for like Instagram anyways, so I could just send them over to for you, and you could post them on TikTok, right? Yeah. I, I've never opened yeah, TikTok, so I don't know I, what, I what's do going that. on over there. But also, I do recommend you get TikTok, bro. Okay, show me a TikTok then. So, do you show want me, me to pull up my phone and yeah, show you like show, TikTok, show me like, on my for you page? Okay, yeah, the All first right. TikTok you pull up. Th this is raw. This and is this the this first <laughs> TikTok I'm gonna pull up, and this is the first time Madison <laughs> is gonna judge my TikTok. Okay, and, like, this yeah, is yeah, and if, it, if it's a good TikTok, I might download TikTok. Right, not, right. No, wait, what am I saying, bro? I, I can't download TikToks, and I'm gonna have to do that work too. No. Yeah. No. So, all right, this, this is the first TikTok. If you like ghost kitchens, get ready for ghost hotels thanks to SideMet. So ghost kitchens are when a bunch of different companies have their food made out of the same unmarked kitchen, which is why you can buy I'm Mr. Beast Burger in your town, but you can't actually go to Mr. Beast Burger. Yeah, yeah. And ghost hotels are going to be ghost? like the same thing, but for hotels. What and the, the SideMet just announced <laughs> they invested in a company what? called Ghost Hotels to help open their first Dude, ghost hotel in the We're summer of 2023, Dude, where the funny. rooms will be designed with trademark sidemen touches. But this is... Well, I, I, didn't get, I didn't get the concept, though. I mean, this was really interesting, but uh, I didn't get the concept. Do you want to see my next TikTok, then? No, 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 bro. What is he talking about, bro? What is... Because dark stores, like, I, I work a lot with that, you know? Or, or like, dark restaurants. Also, I'm going to be honest with you, I did not get anything in this video. Okay, so he said... Do, do, you, know, do you know the concept of a dark uh, store? No. You work for one, Flink. Okay. A supermarket that you can order from, but you can't actually go there, right? 
and I work yeah, for ones that yeah. like with us was like we have uh, like dark restaurants, right? Yeah. So you like it's like a garage where they're making burgers, and you would never eat there because you would never eat in the garage like that. Yeah. But since it's through delivery, you don't see the the kitchen, so you don't care. Yeah. Uh, and then you can have it delivered, but you can't actually go there. So and this video was basically about Mr. Beast doing that. No, uh, the the side men were investing in a ghost uh, hotel. Ah. I don't know what the fuck a ghost. What's hotel. a ghost hotel? Exactly. He said it's the same concept but with hotels, and I'm thinking what. How do you send a hotel room out to people? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, bro, book your own room via book your own room. Yo, bro, no, actually, NL. that's a good fucking business idea. <laughs> but you also know how, like, they're bro, the containers. Bro, zero expenses. Or know? caravans. It could be caravans. Like a caravan? It's like you just send out people caravans, I guess. Yeah, but, then you, but a hotel is a physical thing that you enjoy, right? So, like, you would have to be there physically. Like, you, you can't. You, do, you know what I mean? Yeah, but let's say you book a hotel on Airbnb and like Airbnb is like also just random people's houses yeah, but sometimes. The, the service is the production, you know? Do, do you know what I'm saying? And you're producing these caravans to the liking of yeah, the but, people but to then, the hotel. Yeah, but then it's not really a ghost caravan. It's just a caravan. No, but it's a ghost caravan because you don't know a where ghost, it's being manufactured or made. No, a ghost caravan would be like um, you would be able to enjoy it, but you would never be able to see the caravan. No, that's not true because the caravan is the finished product. All right, bro. Because the caravan is the room. Are you going to show me another TikTok or not, bro? Oh, you want to see another one? All right, all right, all right. The first, uh, Did the first, you, was the first you one okay? Failed. You already failed. Okay, okay, okay. This is the second Interesting, one. Interesting, but not funny. <laughs> 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 that's pretty funny. Are you saving these, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right, thank you, oh, bro. bro. Thank you. So yeah, this is new technology that we're trying out, by the way. Like, how awkward <laughs> would it be if we can't get this to work? And it's just, and it's just laughing, at laughing at our phones. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'm sure I'll pull it up. All I'll right, do you want to see a third one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third go one on, is like on, the go on, go on. creme de la creme or some shit like that. Yeah, 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 all, all, all good, all things good. All things, things coming three. Coming three. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> third time's the charm. <laughs> this is gonna get us. This is gonna get us a copyright strike, bro. So we can't be. We oh, can't but be it's this. political, and it's funny. Yeah, I know this guy. Where's he from again? England or something. Oh, I just watched the charity match. That's why I recognize him. He was hosting the charity match, no? Yeah, but you gotta enjoy the TikTok, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, bro, because it's, it's music, so we can't. We can't, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can't pull this up. No, of course. Uh, yeah, but we're not getting paid anyways. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, bro. Oh. I don't want to get demonetized on those negative dollars. Dude. Should I save it? I'm, I'm going to save it still. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to put it so they don't understand what's going on. Yeah, there. but okay. just mute it then, probably. Yeah, yeah, but also we're not... Like, let's do another one. Another one? Yeah, because this one okay. doesn't count, bro. But this is they ad. Oh, and then I get a lot of cooking ones as well on my TikTok. Which is like dope okay. music and then people cooking. Again, music. Okay, so I get why people don't use TikTok on, on YouTube, bro, because the music. But yeah, very heavily demonetized, easy. Okay, well, this is a cooking video, bro. This sucks. I get this on my Instagram, too. Yeah, but these ones are fresh, raw, and better. What are you talking about, bro? Like, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you use Instagram Reels? No. Okay. I okay. use Instagram Video. Okay, okay. Or whatever that one's yeah, called. Yeah, but how good is like, that? Oh, fuck. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, are good, good. <laughs> are you leaving? Okay, bye. Bye. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save this video regardless. Okay, yeah. Uh, but I, th I think... The oh, I can't actually save this one. The conclusion is TikTok pretty bad. You know? Joint psychology. Bro, get, get off your phone. <laughs> Shit, we're, we're sorry. Uh, I was uh, flicking through TikTok on the job. Yeah, bad, yeah, you bad. got caught. Do you know? But do you know? What do you do with your day if you're like not twenty four seven on TikTok? Like, what? How do you enjoy your life, bro? I have so much shit going on. It's crazy, dude. Like, uh, I actually have too many social media apps that I need to follow for like work related reasons, you know. Already, right. and then right. all the time that I should be doing that instead, I'll spend on Instagram scrolling through memes, you know. I okay, fair. But I feel like but my you see instead of Instagram memes, you could be because yeah, your memes but, are still but, anyways. But I feel like, like <gasps> this was a thing that was like even before seven months ago. We used to complain that Mattis had the shittiest memes bro, that I he would send I, in the groups. Bro, you guys always say that, right? To and then every day, time, every time I send a meme, the only people who like it are you, Kelvin, and Yayo, bro. To who, this who day, always have the freshest memes. No, but here's the thing: because we're just the nicest of people, is that we don't no, want to make you feel no, bad. No, because you don't like other people's memes. You just like my memes, bro. No, but they're good. Dude. But they other people slap. don't actually post memes. You're the only one that posts like ninety percent of the memes on meme. Yeah. So like out of the ten, maybe I like one or two. What what are you saying? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, just because I post a lot of memes doesn't yeah. devalue the but fact every that, time you like that all of I post a meme is like a hundred percent like rate ratio, you know what I mean? Yeah. So basically I post a meme and I'll rarely post a meme, but I'll only post a meme if it's like genuinely good, you know? 
Yeah. And then when people get that meme, they are like, whoa, this is, this is, same, this is by the way. funny. This is same. Yeah, until now, it's the exact same experience when no, I No, except you, you just see a meme, you're like, you don't even think that, will the boys find this funny? And then you just send it. Okay, sometimes I send a meme just to piss you guys off. I'll be like, <laughs> will the boys find this funny? No. Will it piss them off because it's not funny and it's coming from me? Yes. Okay, send. Bro, bro, bro. And the dad you know, jokes page God, that you have. God bless if I can make your day a little bit worse with a few <laughs> simple interactions, you know? Bro. Oh my, like, that's what social media, for, like, you know, you know this whole, there's this trend going on I'm, and I'm so happy, bro. I've been waiting <laughs> so long for this trend to pop up. To but like, it's like, it's like uh, pride and hating, you know? So you're doing what's called the anti-meme. No, no, I get up early in the morning to hate, bro. So like, <laughs> <laughs> you, do you understand what I'm saying? No, but you're not doing any of the hating. You're just sending us bad memes and then we're doing the hating for you. Yeah, okay, because but but you get filled with hate. You see, this is the ultimate goal of a hater uh, is to make other people hate. But us this too. is but this is what I do, right? Because like I see that you sent a meme on meme team. Yeah. I'll look at like how other how other many people reacted to the meme. Yeah. So let's say maybe Martin saw it, or let's say Kelvin saw it, yeah. or let's say Yayo saw it, and yeah. Kelvin and Yayo are the most likely to like a meme at first. You know, right, right. If I see that they've seen it, because Kelvin they just likes it. all memes. He doesn't yeah, really yeah, have a yeah, sense yeah, of humor. Exactly. So. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, and then I'll see if any of them liked it. And yeah. then if I see that no one liked it, I'll just play and ignore it. So see, yeah, you spend so much effort, you know, <laughs> going through different ways to avoid looking at my memes. No, but that's like such an memes. easy way. Like I just open it. I see two people have seen it. No one's liked it. I will not watch okay, it. Okay, but you see, you could just open it. I, that's one step. No, but opening <laughs> it means that I'm going to have to watch the video. And then I, then like, let's say a meme is like going to take me 30 seconds to analyze or some shit like that. And then, like, I've wasted 30 seconds of my life to decide whether the meme was no, good or bad. No, fuck you, bro. Fuck you, bro. Look, <laughs> my memes are usually pretty good. Uh, end of topic, TikTok sucks. And now we're back at Midnight Kebab because fair. Uh, I'm doing all the work. Fair, hey, fair. Are you going to do the thumbnails? Yeah, I'll still do the thumbnails. You're lying, bro. I'll, I'll still do You're the lying, thumbnails. You're lying, bro. You're lying. This time, it will no longer no longer take seven to eight business weeks. It will only take, like, maybe tops one business week. Okay, here's what I'm going to do with the thumbnails. Are you going to hire the intern no. again? Oh, yes, maybe. Oh. Uh, I will... In general, if anyone out there wants to intern for Midnight Kebab, <laughs> come over, dude. Like, we desperately need your help. <laughs> uh, no, but what I want to do is uh, I'll tell you, like, okay, dude, this is the day that you usually have to do the you know, the thumbnail, you know? It's going to be every two weeks. We're uploading every other Monday. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, Or yeah. Wednesday or whatever. Whatever it says in our uh, uh, bio. Thing, which we got to read again and update. No, no, no. No, we, but... We keep it, bro. But the profile picture. Oh, is it still gay? Is, is, <laughs> is it still LGBTQ? Guys, how could we be homophobic? Our profile picture is gay. Uh, ba 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 Even the profile pic is gay. Right, so... Even the stick is gay. Remember when we put it up, we were like, okay, we gotta make a new updated yeah, profile no, but, picture. Yeah, no, but we already thought this whole thing through, right? Yeah. We said we're gonna reverse it to the old one when Pride Month hits. Yeah, just so we can show because that we, we are, are we are prideful 24-7. We are the an- anti-memes, bro. <laughs> we are the haters. We hate everything, bro. Yeah, but here's the thing. and then uh, Good and bad. And then Pride Month came along and we just kept it the same. Yo, hold up, bro. <laughs> the, this cable yeah. is not the same cable that uh, that I got for you. Yeah, I, lo- I lost the cable. So you did lose the cable. I, ca- I can't find the cable. Give bro. me my money back, bro. <laughs> this is government. Wait, no, I pay for my mic. Company I, I property, pay, I pay for my mic. This is company property, bro. I paid for my own mic, which I'm not sure if it's my mic anymore or if it's yours, because at some point I'm pretty sure we might have switched it. Yeah, but this is definitely mine with my cable. So. Okay, the cable is yours, 100. percent So and yeah. mine's a little bit shorter, but thicker, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, dude, we were we were saying something important about this podcast. Sorry. Right. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, bro. This is this is my nice part about editing. You can just like cut it out. Uh, but it's also nice if you just keep it in. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, no, but we're gonna we're gonna be uploading. We're gonna change the profile picture back in June. Inshallah. Inshallah, yeah. and we're gonna, God willing, we're gonna we're gonna start uploading every other Monday or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. To every every other week. Like this first podcast, let's say, is just to get back into the podcast yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, and I think uh, what we definitely want to do more of is interviews with random people. Uh, yeah. Looking at you know local. Uh, artists yeah. and stuff like that. We also want to make like a lot more videos in real life. Let's say we go yeah. out. Make, could we, be, it could even be a vlog. Fuck it, why not? We we have two videos in the way. They're pending. Uh, just pending. Brand brand new videos <laughs> made eight months uh, made <laughs> seven no seven months ago was when we last yeah, podcast. Yeah, but would that also be the about the same time we did those videos? Yeah, if not before. Okay, fair. Yeah, yeah. 
I think actually in the last three podcasts we've been promising to release. This yeah, <laughs> and then it, we just took a seven month but, break without but, saying shit. But now I'm actually editing it, and it's nice because I got a new setup, so that's making it a lot easier. Yeah, but also you know what the thing Paid is, like, I just realized that since I'm in charge of the social media, I should have posted on our social media that we're gonna take a break until further notice, and then I haven't done that. And I've also no, not promoted you, the fact that we're coming back. In general, you have not done anything on social media. <laughs> that's why I will take it over. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if, actually, can you hand me over the login so like if I'll, I remember I'll the password the today, you know, if I remember the password. Which I re- definitely remember. Don't worry, I'll pass it over. Miss Fidela, if you do not know the password. <laughs> of course, I know the... We'll bro, we'll you're getting this. the chunk, la, bro. We'll, we'll discuss this off okay, air. Okay, okay, tell me the password. We'll, tell we'll me, no, tell no, me no, the no, first no, half no, of no, the no. password right now. We'll discuss this off air. Confidential stuff in it. If we get a new social media page, because you don't... Bro, do you know how many followers we're going to lose? We might need to make a new social media page, or... or I might just have to keep doing it, because I'm logged on on my phone. I might shoot you, bro. Or no, there, there might be... There, there has to be another way to do it, no? Um, there ha- if you're logged in, there must be like a, I forgot my my password. I'll right? figure out the password. How about that? I'll figure it out. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> I'll figure it. Yeah, out. how about that? <laughs> <laughs> how about you go figure out the password? I yeah. definitely remember it. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> bro, the view here is beautiful. It's just like I'm just looking at the whole garden, the whole house. The house and is kind of nice inside the house. The house is kind of nice. I can't lie. Yeah, I, I've just been it chilling in the house for the last bro, what, what two if, days. Okay, here, look, here's what I'm gonna do, bro. Look, look at how smart this is. I'm going to take a picture from my phone of, of our view. And then our setup as well. <laughs> yeah, and then it's just two black screens. <laughs> <laughs> is yours even recording at this point? What? Is your uh, thing even oh, recording? Shit, Should one of us at some point get up and check if the phone's also recording? Yeah, of course. Should I uh, do that now? Uh, no, it's it's fine. Yeah, go on, bro. Yeah, just in case. Or should we call one of the roommates to come in no, and No, no, we, we do it at 30 minutes. And if, an, if a homie happens to be standing there, it's like... And then a homie just happens yeah. to be standing there. Yeah, and we don't yeah. bother him to check the camera. Where's the intern, bro? Who did we ever mention who the intern was in the first place? Do the people know? Yeah, other than the intern. No, it's fine, bro. It's fine. Yeah, but uh, like, come intern, bro. I think I think I, I'm finally gonna finish this point on the fucking thumbnail, bro. What, what point? I'm gonna tell you like this is when you're supposed to do the thumbnail, right? <laughs> oh, you haven't finished. <laughs> and if you don't do the thumbnail, oh, shit. I'll try to contact the intern. And if the intern is not available because he got intern hours, yeah, uh, intern schedules, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it myself. Fuck, and we yeah. do not want that. No, we do not. <laughs> we don't. I mean, it's fine because I'm trying to get Photoshop. So fair, 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 fair. And I might also. By the way, today we're filming on a on an iPhone, as you just saw with do, the picture. Let us know what you think of the quality, because <laughs> what are we gonna do? The, what are we gonna do in the future? Uh, well, I'm I'm trying to buy a camera, bro. All right, because it's been a while since I bought my last one, and it's yeah. it's like relevant in so many areas. Uh, what happened so. to the last one? It's I, but it, it, and I still use it for different things. But yeah. it, we can't use it for podcasting because that's a twenty minute. Uh, ah, okay. Filming yeah, yeah, yeah. cap, you know. I got you. Are you gonna get like a second hand one if you get one eventually? Uh, yeah, it's, it, this is this is why it's taken a while also to do this. Like it, it takes so much time to find the right camera. Yeah. Because it's like, I'm gonna have to spend between seven fifty and one thousand. Yeah. Because. Uh, and and it's like second hand would be really nice, but then you need to be make sure that you know. Blah, blah, for blah, like blah. now, I could like we could even borrow it from school kind of thing yes but then I would need you to do that you know yeah true and also borrowing from school is not the best because uh, we need to do it like every two weeks you know yeah because then it's not also not going to be stable we yeah. might need something stable yeah I, bro can we can we can we get into some topics right uh, what's been happening in the so, world do you, do you want to do personal updates first or like some uh, some news stories let's do personal updates because like the people have in the nah, I feel like that that would be nice at the end no yeah true yeah fair, okay fuck it, yeah. hey yo so, so what do you think about Kanye West oh uh as an artist, amazing. But as a person, not so much these days. No, not so amazing. No. So, what, what do you mean as an artist, amazing? Like, what what sort of projects so, of his do you? L- do you l- 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 let's be honest, right? Like, Donda the, was a flop. No, that's not true, bro. Every no, bro. Donda was not a flop. Donda do you, was do you so. You unironically good. think Donda was a good album, bro? Unironically, I think Donda was Fuck, a dude, I live great with album, Donnie, bro. I can't be. I can't be expressing myself freely, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, do you pretend in front of Donnie that Donnie's good and then in front of me you're, you're sure? Oh, you're yeah, sure bro. So. Every time Donnie comes around, like, even if we're not talking about Kanye, I'm like, bro, Kanye slaps, bro. Yo, Donnie, get better friends. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, but, like, I would never be that fake. But if he's talking about Kanye, do give him a bit more space. Yeah. Also, because I just know that's his opinion and it's an important one for him, you know? That's he views a lot of hip hop through the lens of of Kanye and, and stuff. Yeah, fair. But uh, that's that's what I was saying as an artist because he was yeah. just that. But bit also, like respectfully, I disagree. Like, and I don't know. If fair. I've, yeah. Fair. But yeah. He, you you can't like think of hip hop and then like pro- what's like if I were to ask you what are the five prominent names that come up to your head when you think of like hip hop or like people that in the hip hop game changed the game, like prominently you change the game. Okay, uh, you would put Kanye up there. 
Ah, uh, you, you can you kind of have a point when you're saying five people he might just make it in. Right? So But I'm not quite sure either. I'm but, not quite yeah. sure to be honest. And also it's it's kind of difficult because there's so many different forces that kind of factor into the evolution of hip hop. Because if you think about it's, it, it's it's kind of unfair to just be like these are the f- you know five people who influenced it because you can make an argument for for anyone really influenced. I feel like true, but also, he, but yeah, but also at the same time you kind of have to look at like how big of a dent he put into the scene. And if you look at it in history, you, there's no way you're gonna avoid Kanye. Like he's just gonna be there with some artist at some point. Like if you even think about Jay Z, if some people say that Jay Z was a big artist, you're not gonna get Jay Z without Kanye being mentioned at least. I feel like Jay Z had a pretty uh, extensive career without Kanye, bro. He did, but and I think you could definitely talk did. about Jay Z without talking about Kanye. But then also at the same time, Kid Cudi as well. He was so influential with like his albums that he dropped, and then you can't get Cudi without Ghost. Kanye. Yeah, but also before that, um, Man on the well, what was it? Fuck, Moon on the Man. Nah, something with the Moon. The Man, the Moon, moon the Landing. Moon's. I can't. Moon landing ah, fuck, I can't remember. I'm so sorry, but look it up. Like uh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> that thing. Yeah. It was also so influential because Kanye again, like you can't have Kid Cudi without Kanye, and like these are okay. just Jay Z, Kid Cudi. These are already two big names, and then also Kanye was even involved in writing some of the Linkin Park stuff. I saw. I did not know that. No. Or producing, right? But that, that was like a one-time thing I saw on Wikipedia. So do not quote me on that. Yeah, but let, let's just say uh, on this topic that Kanye as an artist, he is genuinely that. Okay, guy. How, how much do you rate him from one to ten? As an artist, with over seven being legendary, so like just to put it like right. to give it a proper scale, you right? Know? Kanye, I would put easily either a nine or an eight point five. Really? So if seven is legendary, I put Kanye like a solid four point five. All right, fair. Maybe fair. five point five. Fair, fair. <laughs> five being like good rapper, you know? Fair. Or like but good artist. Here's the thing: he's because he's he isn't just a rapper; he's also a yeah, producer. No. The producing the producing uh, part producing for is, me you can't means take it a lot away. more than the rapping. Although I do I do love some of his bars. Like he is kind of creative with it. Sometimes yeah, his, his bars are like quite good actually. Yeah, sometimes sometimes, but his bars can also be really bad. Fair, 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 fair. Um, I but anyways, kanye has been out. He's yeah. been doing the rounds. Uh, yeah. So it all started with this uh, White Lives Matter uh, shirt. I don't know if you saw that. I did. And he did explain himself, which I mean, I guess kind of a shitty excuse, but also what does it even mean to put white lives matter on a shirt, you know? Well, he, it's just he, writing on a shirt. I don't really understand right um bec- because there's this uh white lives matter is actually it's quite strictly a uh, white supremacist um slogan. Yeah. That was specifically created for that reason, you know? Yeah. Um do you know do you know where the phrase white power comes from? Uh, no. It was it the KKK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so you, you've heard of white power before. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. it means, right? Yeah. But do you know where it came from? No. So uh, when the civil rights movement was, movement was just starting up, mm-hmm. um, there was this concept called black power. Mm. And they invented the idea of black power. And, you know, as a, as a people, we can, uh, with solidarity, we can have enough strength to overcome uh, our struggles, right? Right, yeah. And the KKK took that. And and they copied the slogan and made it into, made white, it into power. white power. Yeah. So it it is a direct uh, white supremacist um, response to a anti white supremacist slogan. Right? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. And with white lives matter, it was the exact same thing. So you have uh, black lives matter, mm-hmm. uh, and then this white supremacist adaptation of that became white lives matter. Yeah. And it's a direct response coming from those circles for the, for a very specific reason, right, yeah. where there's not really enough wiggle room to be like, you know, they, they even have the dumbed down version or like the more acceptable version, which is all lives matter. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he wasn't even wearing that, bro. He, he was, was just wearing, wearing white lives matter. Straight up white but lives matter. But he, he, here's why I'm a bit on the fence because like he then did come up with an interview where like he kind of explained himself. I don't know if you watched it. Um, probably. So he said that uh, I put White Lives Matter because he said so many people during BLM and here's the thing as well he thinks that BLM is a total scam by the way. So, yeah, bro it's America so everything's yeah. a scam but, uh, but it, I mean, it doesn't mean it's a total scam. Yeah right yeah. but <laughs> that, that, I disagree with Kanye on that. Yeah. Uh, but then Kanye goes on to say that during that protest there were like he said so many white people that ha- had on the Black Lives Matter shirt he was like I appreciated that and I wanted these white people to know that and I appreciate you guys as well. Right but like all those people that <laughs> all those whiteies <laughs> that had the Black Lives Matter on the shirt you know yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you, if, you, if you show like a picture of Kanye with White Lives Matter on they would run away yeah right yeah. but <laughs> so, yeah. but he's, uh, so instead he attracted the you yeah. know and the, the attention of Candace Owens Tucker Carlson yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Here's, the, here's the problem with the thing is like because the way that he viewed it and the way that he's so influential again like if he posts something on let's say his Instagram or let's say his uh, Twitter yeah. he just for some reason doesn't understand the implications of the ripple effect that he's gonna have on the people what do you mean bro he doesn't understand do, do you think he understands 
that he made his career out of those ripple effects, bro. Right, but he's trying. But that's, in my that's eyes, his whole thing, bro. No, in, in my eyes, he's like trying to slavery share his was mind. a choice, bro. Yeah, okay, he's fucked up on that. A lot of other things as well. Like, but, but no, it's, I'm just saying slavery was a choice, like not because of, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. but because he said that statement, uh, like in 2017, bro. He's been doing this shit since no, like, but forever. What, what I'm trying to say is like that, creating like, these ripples and writing off of it. Yeah, and I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to say is that that's a really bad thing about Kanye. Yeah, I think it's he's like, above everything else. He's a narcissist, you know, yeah. which which can result in pretty good music when you're like perfectionist to that personal level. Because as an artist but, as well, like I understand it. Like you not being able to express your mind freely is a shit thing. But when you're up there as a celebrity and you know no, that you're bro. gonna have every statement, you're gonna he, have a ripple effect. You kind of have to restrain yourself. And as that's the thing that Kanye hates is that he doesn't want to restrain himself to like all these yeah, people. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Like. Kinda. No. What, what I what I think I think what you're saying has uh, some validity, but what I really think is going on is that here is a man who became extremely successful. Yeah. Then got surrounded by yes men. Uh, he had a narcissist, you know, uh, personality since the beginning. Yeah. Uh, but then he got surrounded by yes men, which only confirmed his narcissist personality, yeah. right? Um, and then that kind of changed his personality a little bit, but it never really drove him crazy. Yeah. Well, a little bit crazy, but then all of a sudden. Uh, Trump comes around and his first instinct is yo this Trump guy's kind of a baller <laughs> yeah. and he's like yo I like Trump yeah. and then everyone around him that are usually his yes men are like bro you can't say that yeah like his the rapper community is like no you can't say that because we won't fuck with you yeah like his wife even told him no you can't say that you're gonna, your career is gonna go down your manager like he and this is something that Kanye West himself has said that even his manager was calling him like that's something you can't say you know? yeah. and I think that was for the first time in a long time that Kanye ever experienced pushback on something he wanted to say and heard no and he's not used to hearing no so then he just went crazy and like dove all the way into it you know? into it yeah fuck yeah good point yeah uh, do, do you see what I'm saying I, I get it I get it yeah I, I really think that's what's going on yeah yeah so so yeah don't 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 be a yes man no and don't be a yes man and don't definitely be a yes man. like the recent stuff that Ye's been posting is like not it as well it's like he's definitely if you he were, made graduation he made graduation <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm saying as an artist he's good but as a person do he not hold graduation. him up on, no, 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 no. I'm he saying do not hold him up to a pedestal <laughs> at all as a person right as a person he's like terrible do not get him as an expe- yeah, example yeah, I mean it's, it's the same with like XXX Tentacion or something for example yeah. right like he also had a, a very uh, rough disturbing uh, history yeah so but his music is still very much appreciated right so yeah. I think you can still appreciate Kanye's music but you do have to be extra careful with yeah. explicitly not supporting his character if you support but his music you know this is also the thing with like a lot of artists as well it's like they'll make really good stuff you know yeah. and all of a sudden the scandal comes out that this person is like abusing their power somehow or like let's say right right like Michael Jackson for example no yeah, all the stuff also, that came out yeah I think people yeah. still enjoy his music I think yeah, it's yeah. good to separate the artist from the art sometimes yeah and, I, and not, not actually not only sometimes but you might also want to do this from the get go before mm. the stories come out you know yeah like I think the Try Guys is a perfect example right yeah yeah, because this came out. Yeah. yeah, because these are like the everyone idealized wow. them that these are like the most perfect people. Like these are these are the PC people that you go to straight out of BuzzFeed, the most left wing, whatever you know. That was so sad. Yeah, yeah, like the most moral people you could find on the internet, basically, right? The try guys, and and the most moral one out of those guys, yeah. the one who's the wife guy, ends up cheating on his wife. Yeah, like for the world to but see. But here's also the thing as well. So right? like, just don't believe, don't believe that someone is good and follow everything that they're saying and support yeah. everything that they say just because their art is good. Yeah, you don't have uh, to wait for the story. People Sorry, from pe- people from the get go, they kind of get uh in fall in love with an artist because yeah. of their art right away, yeah. and then they don't know the artist at all for like how yeah. the artist is, and then they fall in love with this perceived character which may yeah. not be. And then when like a scandal yeah. like this comes out, they kind of are biased in their opinion, and they say that no, this person can't be bad or shit like that. Yeah, and it's really tough for them to understand that no, okay, this person made good art, but that doesn't yeah. make him a good person. Yeah, exactly, and also how easily you could have been fooled. You know that everything yeah. could have been a lie. Yeah, like now it came out with uh, the try guys that apparently Ned, I think, is the guy who's cheated. Right, he's been doing yeah. this for like years apparently. And in recent, so. <laughs> and in recent news as well, uh, remember Rex Orange County, bro? I was so sad about that. Oh, I didn't hear that. What's up? Um, so you know Rex Orange County, yeah, right? Yeah. So the guy that sang "Best Friend," yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. "Sunflower," stuff yeah, like yeah. that. I had like w- had music with Tyler. Bro, I can actually put like pictures of him up now. Yeah, you know? oh, oh, bro. oh, that's so, gonna be so good. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be nice. <laughs> but um, recently it came out that he fell into a sexual assault allegation kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. And with these things, it's like when the police uh, tell you to come on court, they pretty much have a case, you know? They're not going to just pull up a random yeah, case true, on you true, like that. True. And apparently he's been, uh, he sexually assaulted this one girl like around seven times or something. Like maybe if you can find the tweet that says that, we can put it up as well. No, you're going to have to send it to me, bro. Yeah, I will. I will okay, thank you. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so with this one girl, uh, apparently he sexually assaulted her once in a taxi, like five times in his own house, once like uh, in a 
I can't remember some outside area or something so yeah. he sexually assaulted a girl seven times and uh, these allegations finally came out and he cancelled his tour and everything as well and you know so many people fell in love with this character Rex Orange County because like he also looks like a sweet adorable boy yeah but those and, like anything that's that seems like oh my god finally a good person yeah. those are the people you should definitely be scared of <laughs> yeah and then this allegation comes out and like also on TikTok bro, this, this fucking blanket bro let, let, Sorry, it, fall, go, bro, let go. it fall no no I like it bro it's right. nice chill 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 it's nah, bang, so, bro. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Nice. So what I was saying is, um, yeah, and so many people on TikTok are like ripping their tickets, ripping their posters, yeah. their albums. Yeah, like anything don't, they have. you don't you don't need to go through that whole phase, no. bro. Find find uh, people you idealize in your own life, bro. Yeah, and 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 find people who actually don't express their their good character through art, you know, because. Yeah. In the end, you know, the, the best people aren't bragging about it, you know? Because it's also the fandoms, you know? Like, yeah. so many artists have fandoms, yeah. and I find it kind of ridiculous to the fall in love with the character are that not much. are bragging about how good they are, yeah. and how good their ideas are, and are also not trying to attract that much attention, bro. Yeah. They're just trying to do good things. Yeah. So, so like, go find a homie in your real life, like a neighbor or some shit, I yeah. don't know, a teacher. Appreciate them instead yeah, of these and people be, that will and never be able to reach And take inspiration from them, because at least you know that's more real life, and you also mm -hmm. get to see them outside of the camera or outside of the... Yeah. you know their moment yeah uh, when they might not think that anyone's seeing them you know yeah and that and then you can judge much better but don't be falling in love with people online like fucking kanye yeah. or the try guys or rex orange county bro because also you get a lot of this with uh, uh now nah, i'm not gonna say because it, it then nah yeah let's skip over this topic yeah fuck it what 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 bro because no, i was gonna bring up bts and bts is a bit of a yeah no, that's... yeah yeah Oosh. no we, we 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 stand bts here. stand if, always if you like bts subscribe to we Midnight also love Kebab eminem channel. if you love eminem subscribe <laughs> eminem is great amazing he i love eminem okay but <laughs> you should not fall in love with artists yeah. online because next thing you know oh but i'm in love with adele they're gonna okay next thing <laughs> next thing you know they're gonna end up tweeting this would you yeah. like to read the tweet so it says this is, yeah. uh, should I read it in a, what I think a Kanye voice is yeah I was I was about to explain that we're looking at a Kanye tweet and then yeah. I remember <laughs> you're gonna put it on the screen, screen yeah oh should God. I do it in the voice of yeah, Kanye or oh, try my best yeah go on Kanye ah fuck what's his voice I'm a bit sleepy tonight but when I wake up <laughs> I'm going Deathcon 3 on Jewish people the funny thing is I actually can't be anti-semitic because black people are actually Jew also you guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda that's the end of the tweet. Yeah, bro, that was like the worst fucking Kanye West. <laughs> I also have no idea how you do a Kanye voice. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I'm a bit... No, I'm not going to try. Uh, <laughs> first thing I want to point out, bro. So the, the Kanye stands were saying, no, bro. Yeah. He's not saying... He's not saying I'm going Death Con 3 on Jewish people. He's saying I'm going Death Con 3 when I wake up. Space, new topic on Jewish people I can see that no bro, no, <laughs> bro. I'm kidding I'm no, kidding bro. I'm kidding I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> there's no way bro uh, there's no way bro like that house but also I can't see that though yeah yeah you know what really sucks though he do you got, think rappers are bad at uh, grammar and punctuation no bro he just Kanye does this bro he just but puts also the spaces iPhone. around because you put it before and after you know? <laughs> so he puts spaces around things he's really trying to bring out no you know how so, people say I on God no, that's not what That's like not. on. <laughs> Bro, we should introduce like a segment called like defend this rapper's tweet, right? So like if there's a rapper you like, I bring up a tweet oh, of theirs. No, bro, but that's that's going to be like so horrible cuz no, you can pull up such shit stuff. Yeah, I know, but we wouldn't cross a line obviously. All right. Like this, this is trendy okay. everyone's talking okay, about yeah. this so it's kind of funny. Let, let's you know? do it. Let, let's do it like a, in a courtroom. Like let's say yeah. I'm the lawyer of Kanye yeah, 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 and you're the yeah, yeah. lawyer oh, opposing Kanye. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be, be a great sick. skit. This would be a great skit. Ooh, something we can film for the future. Yeah. Hey. But but anyways, um yeah, on yeah, this is this is the tweet. Um and he got unfortunately got banned the same night as he tweeted this or the morning or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm a bit sleepy tonight. Um, no, he, he didn't get banned. It just got deleted. I think Kanye no, still no, has he, his Twitter. No, he got... I'm pretty sure he got taken down because then he we, we never got to see what... No, the tweet got taken down, but I think Kanye is still on But Twitter. we never got to see his death con, bro. Yeah, true. Whatever that means. <laughs> so I think it got, he got banned because that's what I heard online. All right, I'm going to quickly just check. Yeah, that's uh, cool. Yay. That's cool. No, yeah, he's still on Twitter, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still on Twitter. As it's okay, but anyways, like you know, this is uh, this is kind of funny. Uh, well, it's obviously you know, anti-Semitism is not funny. Yeah. Um, but it it is it is a bit weird that he just chose to go down this route. Um, and there's so many things to dissect in this. I mean, f yeah, Death Country. F for those of you who don't know, it's like some military tactic, if I'm not mistaken. I I have no clue. But in any case, <laughs> I think from the way it sounds, you can understand that it doesn't sound like a like a good thing. Yeah. Um, on Jewish people in in, <laughs> in all caps, 
And then the funny thing is I can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew also. So Kanye is not anti-Semitic, bro. Because he, he is a Semite. Because black people are also Jewish. Do you know Do you know where that comes from? Which one? The, uh, the saying or the idea that black people are also Jewish. No. Where does it's, that come from? It's a from? movement called the Black Israelites. So right. people who think that the original Jews were actually black and like there's 12 tribes or something. Right. And black people are the descendants of... Right, I did yeah. not know that, no. Yeah, and uh, Kanye kind of bought into that a few years ago. Which uh, is it's just funny seeing all these different elements getting combined. Uh, you guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who opposes your agenda. So what <laughs> what agenda do you think he's talking about? Yeah, off of this one tweet, I'm gonna have to say uh, I have no clue. But hopefully he elaborates on an interview or some shit. Oh, but wasn't there like an interview as well where he said something like yeah, this? Yeah, because then after this tweet, he went on uh, Tucker Carlson. Aye. And he said uh, a few more anti-Semitic things. Uh, one of them... I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna. No, it's not funny. But he did say one which which was a little bit funny. Yeah. Just because of the way he said it, it reminded me a lot of Trump as well. But he he just said like, um, um, I actually wish my kids would like learn like Jewish things in school, J- Jewish traditions over Black traditions, uh, because then at least that would come with like a banking degree, you know. Like oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was but, not expecting that. <laughs> yeah. He, and then, like, after saying a bunch of anti-Semitic shit, he like for he he says something about how Jews can't dance, and he's like, "Oh, maybe you guys should cut that out," because I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Which uh, I thought shit. was pretty funny because it's like, yeah, out of all the things you just said. But anyways, yeah. But actually, the the interview itself wasn't really like the problem. Oh, you know, Kanye sounds like a guy that would be perfect in Family Guy. Just as a character, Family yeah, Guy, just yeah. drop him in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but actually what really caught the internet on fire was all the deleted scenes from that interview which got leaked afterwards uh, which was pretty funny so like just seeing what Fox News decided to cut out yeah. and leave in and they cut out like a bunch of more anti-Semitic things and then they, they also cut out that he took the vaccine okay. just randomly <laughs> okay <laughs> Fox News what <laughs> and, uh, and yeah but uh, here is like y- you kind of get the gravity of, of everything he's saying yeah. you know and here is Candace Owens, uh, of course, the favorite, uh, who's going to defend uh, Kanye West for you and explain to you what he meant by All this right. tweet. I have not seen this video yet. Yeah. And I hope this... Oh, oh wait, I'm, not, I'm just going to have to read the subtitles. Okay. That was the tweet. And people subsequently so an honest demand person would not that think the tweet, that this tweet be taken is down for right? anti-Semitism. Mm-hmm. Now, if you are an honest person, you did not think this tweet was anti-Semitic. You did not think that he... So I find that pretty funny. He's like, he can't, he basically what, what she's saying is he can't be anti-Semitic because this tweet is not premonition to a Holocaust. Right. He's like, hey bro, he can't be anti-Semitic. He's not doing the Holocaust. Right. It's kind of like saying, how could I be homophobic? My <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's even... You can see the correlation there, no? Yeah, kind of, kind of. Uh, it's it's kind of like saying... This tweet's not homophobic. Just because he's saying that... My gay, friend is also gay. Just because he said he's going to go <laughs> death con on, on the LGBTQ community yeah. tomorrow morning and that they always, the LGBT always tries to blackball him yeah. uh, for opposing their agenda. Um, he's not being homophobic because he's not, he, this is, he's not inciting violence to right. gay people. Right. But actually, more extreme than that, because yeah. like he's she's referencing like the oh, one, the Holocaust. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like he was he at the Holocaust. How do you know he's anti-Semitic? <laughs> that's that's what the argument kind of boils down to. I mean, she's making hella sense. No, bro. No, she's not, not even joking. She's not. Do you want to check? Do you want to check the? Oh, the can check the camera. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was Candice. I I like next time I'll prepare more, so I hope I have the right clip. Yeah, right, yeah. I think she goes through the tweet as well. It's like. You, you just cannot tweet on even the side say well, no, I think. Yeah. the word Jewish without Makes people sense. getting upset in the same way that you're not allowed to say black anymore. In the what? Same- you're not allowed to say black? Since when? <laughs> <laughs> right. And also, I'm yeah, but she just says it. I think you're allowed to say Jew, right? You're allowed to say, yeah. Yeah, you're allowed to say Jewish. You're allowed to say Jew. You're, you're, just, not, to you're just not allowed to say, I'm going death count three on the Jews. Oh, no, yeah, right. I think I think that was the part. That you know, of, words in between or like before and after also matter. Yeah. Yes. Also matter. That's a, that <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes, okay, but to be fair, what if Candace had like, no, what's that thing called where they can't Dementia. read? Dementia. Yeah, no. no. Uh, dyslexia. You, you have it. Yeah, dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, are you allergic to apples? Yeah. 
Yeah, but maybe she's dyslexic and she did she, she maybe she all she could read was because she is also <laughs> an, she's a dyslexic anti Semite, right? Right. So all she could read from that tweet was Jew. Jew. <laughs> and she probably thought he was saying something really good about them, you know? Like poor Candice. <laughs> oh bro. Oh bro. Okay. But I wanna see her break down the, the tweet. Okay. Who are these people? Yeah, this is it's fuck, bro. I I, <laughs> I wish I wish I had the clip of her reviewing the clip. All right. Uh, the tweet. Yeah. Uh, but she, she, it's really funny because she like awkwardly. Oh, has that's to a scary poster. What the fuck? Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, sorry. Uh, uh, she says, "Well, what we don't know what he means by death con three because death con three is actually a defensive position yeah. and not an offensive position." She analyzed that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair. So, so she said maybe he meant he was gonna defend Jewish people by saying death con three on them. Yikes! Because okay. you know, there's been so much anti-semitism recently that when he woke up in the morning he was gonna form a d- defense around the yeah but there's no way she's actually the defending Kanye <laughs> after reading the whole tweet yeah how yeah bro and she's lit- legit ah bro I wish I had the video bro uh. <laughs> but it's, it's so hard to find her shit because I think she's banned on YouTube right uh, but who, this, who is this person by the way Candace? Uh, sh- she's like the the black token of the KKK okay okay yeah or not not quite KKK but pretty close yeah so she's very white supremacist and stuff uh, very far right wing and yeah. in America and she's also happens to be black you know what's funny Candace this Candace lady sounds a lot like the Candace fucking Dick. no since like the prime minister that we have now in Italy Candice Giorgia Meloni uh, Giorgia Meloni Giorgia Meloni she sounds exactly like Giorgia Meloni Oh really? Yeah. I haven't heard Georgia Meloni talk yet. Bro, you should. You should. Uh, but anyway, th- this was the end of the Kanye saga, so we can actually go into Georgia uh, Meloni. A, a little now. bit of a different thing, yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, I won't say too much. What of happened it. with the Italian elections, bro? Because you, I do a lot of politics, but Italy I've always kept my nose out of because I thought it'd be way too confusing to figure out what the fuck. Yeah, was and, and it is very confusing. So, it so confusing. you as an Italian who voted, yeah, what's up, bro? So basically, uh, I voted PD. Which is? Which is uh, Partito Democratico, which is the oh, left left uh, wing. Okay. It, it's not right wing, don't worry. No, no, I, I, was, I, I thought it would be like the Socialist Party or some shit. No, uh, they, they did have a Communist Party though. And you, did you vote for them? No, I saw the... <laughs> <laughs> no, kidding, kidding, kidding. We don't, oh. we don't support communism. And violence. <laughs> so basically, um, <laughs> Giorgia Meloni, right? She's this really far right, and she's the most far right leader we've had in a while. Um and for some reason the Italian population decided Sorry, I'm to not go ahead. At that. It's just your homie picking yeah. through the blood. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so the people of Italy decided, you know what, what's gonna be nice? Let's vote for the furthest right we've had in a while, just because we haven't seen and much change on the left in the h- recent past. H- how long of a while would that be? Uh um, like nineteen forty five type while? No, I actually don't know. Uh but it's a long history of like we've just had liberals or like we've had right wing. Mussolini, if you didn't get the joke. Oh, <laughs> because that's that's what I read on BBC and stuff like that. Yeah, that she's the most far right we've had since ever. Mussolini. Since right? Mussolini, yeah, yeah, and ever f- would be. Yeah, and you know well. she goes on. <laughs> she goes on to try and say shit like um, that. She's not against abortion, even though she's but, like. Uh, 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 let me ask a question before we get into like her sp- uh, specific policies. Um, or like what she's been saying but you said it's because there hasn't been much movement on the left that's what it feels like because people in Italy for some reason now like are getting impatient and it's also always the old people like the elder, elderly people that vote and we still have a problem where the young generation of Italy are not voting or going yeah. out to vote because yeah. they generally think that their vote do not matter like it's kind of yeah. like they're anti no, so, they're socialist so, so the, the majority of the people are not happy with the left because the left is very inactive yeah um and what and you, why would you okay, and you're saying one of the reasons that, that they're inactive will also be because the actual base the left like the base of the left the people are quite inactive as well and don't really care to vote because because they don't think their vote matters because of what like mafia or what what's going on no they just don't really corruption. believe in the go- government at all yeah corruption, corruption government all that stuff and they've also they're you could say they're very socialist in that kind of sense yeah and but that, that's the funny thing is like they're socialist but they don't have like let's say the courage or like the want and they're just lazy in general to like go out, out and do anything you know what, what what the fuck are you talking about now bro it's like they want change yeah but voting is one way they can do it but they, they don't believe to. in it and they refuse to do anything but, else about because it because I would say like Italian culture in many ways to me is very socialist in the sense that there's a lot of community and you just take care of each other and you don't try to rob each other blind yeah you know and, and then there's the mafia that kind of rides overrides that yeah Um. but I think in general the people like the living style is is quite poor and close to to the streets, close to home. Yeah, 
um, and and the, there's a lot of sharing and and communal activities. I would say. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, they can't implement that in the government because mm-hmm. of the corruption. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Or, or no, I'm asking, bro. Like, is that was you don't know? I, I spaced out. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's I fine. zoned out. Um, okay, so the, the left is kind of immobile for a few reasons. One of them being corruption. Um, Could be. And the base. Uh, is there but there there is also a bit of a difference between the left and the right where like the left is a bit more people centered and like they want to care more for the people whereas the right is more economic surprise. centered surprise and they care more about the money and stuff like that yeah and, and I think the biggest problem is that they're both corrupt right and both bought yeah. by the same mafiosos in the end I mean here's the thing I think that everybody that's in politics is corrupt mm. first off because like I don't think anybody really does it for, I, there are generally quite a few people that do it for the people or like they do it because they care for the people or they care for the country yeah. but 90% I'm pretty sure are doing it just for the money because like in politics is one of the most lucrative businesses out there mm. yeah it's not one of the most lucrative businesses out there but but it's quite easy to make money in it yeah yeah but as soon as you have power and some following, you yeah. can get donors and just change your mind, and no one will care, and the media won't hold yeah. you accountable. And uh, like also, like us. a lot of these uh, politicians, what they do is like they talk a lot, but when it comes to doing stuff, they don't actually do stuff because like. And they talk in any way they, whatever they think will be most popular, they say at the moment to yeah. the crowd, and it, like what they actually end up doing is comp- is only dependent on the money. Yeah, because yeah. have you seen that now that we have a right wing in Italy? Um, when she eventually does come into power, she one of the things that she said is that she's going to implement a flat tax in Italy. That's okay. And that would mean that let's I mean, say you know what's funny, bro? Like a flat tax, you, ta- uh, tax used to be like this extreme right wing policy. We would say no fuck like um, making it so the rich people pay more in taxes. Yeah, we're just gonna do it flat so everyone pays the same percentage. <laughs> but in America, that would actually be a huge blow to the millionaires because yeah. they all pay zero right now. Yeah. So a flat tax, would, <laughs> like if you introduced a flat tax in America, the country would collapse because the billionaires <laughs> would re- legitimately revolt and refuse to partake. <laughs> like literally, bro. <laughs> Damn. But in, but in Europe, a flat tax is yeah, seen as Europe, very right wing. It's yeah. a very right wing. Yeah. And one of the reasons being is because like let's say, but first of all, let, let's explain the flat tax a little bit. It's yeah. basically the idea that everybody pays the same amount of tax no matter how much they're earning. Uh, percentage percentage wise. wise, yeah. yeah. So, so everyone pays thirteen percent or twenty three. Yeah. So let's say you're making fifty thousand, you're gonna have to pay the same amount as someone that's earning, let's say, four hundred thousand a yeah. year. Whereas normally, uh, the more money you earn, the higher percentage tax you right. you earn uh, right. you pay. Yeah. And this is very clearly one of the ways for the right wing to keep their money. And by the way, Berlusconi is part of this. Like, yeah, uh, a known pedophile. Yeah, a known pedophile, known like fucking non mafioso uh, has been convicted twice or something I think so uh, but, but not did so not sure serve because it's yeah. in Italy and he has money yeah uh, or something yeah and he's, uh, let, again let's, let's, I am not an expert say, in Italian and he, he also owns Rai basically and uh, is pasta what is this no Rai is like the I TV know, know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he also uh, owns a football club right which, Milan. which by the way is uh, in politics it's a big big no no if you <laughs> own uh, what uh, if you own TV or, or, or a newspaper station or yeah to be like, a, po- a politician as well because you can influence yeah, that shit so hard especially if you're a prime minister because that's basically that's yeah. kind of author- authoritarianism so but. this man is you know like when you look up the um, how much wor- how much a person is worth and you put Berlusconi next to Trump Trump has nothing compared to really? Berlusconi bro Berlusconi is rich that's so funny bro I was thinking about this the other day you know how people are like um, what the fuck like why do we have to care about the elections in America yeah. over here but like the America sets the norm and sets the rules for what is acceptable and what isn't. And as soon as they had Trump, England got Boris. <laughs> and like since then, England, like so many countries, it's a ridiculous amount of countries saw Trump like politicians rise to power in terms of either like optics or in terms yeah. of more so policy. Yeah. Uh, and just the general chaos was just the, ac- the acceptability of chaos just went through the roof. Right? Yeah. And then I realized, what the fuck? Berlusconi is kind of like the Italian <laughs> right now he's coming back because of Trump yeah. but then I realized he was there before Trump and I think Trump took a lot of fucking inspiration from Berlusconi I really do think could so could be could be because these were just the years that Trump was starting to eye politics <laughs> and Berlusconi was taking headlines in the whole world I remember and Italy is always like this motherland for, for the Americans right so yeah uh, also another thing that I will bring up is like all of these politicians it was so funny to see because during the time of the polls and everything and leading up to the polls yeah they all were on TikTok <laughs> <laughs> making ben, TikToks ben as to why mio canale di, di <laughs> Berlusconi <laughs> legit had one was like benvenuti questo è il mio canale uffic- ciao ragazzi eccomi qua vi do il benvenuto sul mio canale ufficiale di TikTok 
Can you, you imagine? Can you imagine like a, a convicted pedophile, right? Who yeah. used to do like these massive parties that are like <laughs> in Italy. It was openly exposed, right? Like, yeah. Just like the mafia is openly and exposed, like, but it just continues, right? He slept with underage girls yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, and just massively creepy all the time online, right? Strip clubs, strippers, the whole thing, the whole everything. thing. Prime minister, scandalous, <laughs> right? And then, and then, like a few years later, he's there. Like, what is he now? Eighty-five, something like on TikTok, bro. On TikTok, <laughs> trying to reach the youth, bro. <laughs> but it was genuinely funny. Funny, you know. It's like both parties, but it was more so. Yeah, it was both parties just going back and forth, saying, "Yeah, no, how could they call us this, or how could they call me this?" And then the other party being like deciphering something they said. It's like, yeah, they said this, but this is actually not true. This is how we're gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It In- interesting the dynamics nowadays. But uh, it's funny because like they're tr- tar- they're targeting younger audiences on TikTok, even though the younger audience aren't going out to vote. No, so what the fuck? Be, be, uh, I'll explain this to you. Um, be, I've come across this phenom- phenomenon uh, on so many different areas that I study, uh, and I think music is a perfect example. Um, streams popularity hype. Yeah. You generate from people who are under eighteen. Yeah. Sales you generate from people who are over eighteen. Yeah. The people who are over eighteen will buy your shit, right? Yeah. But they're not gonna f- they're not scrolling through an algorithm to the dry spot. Yeah. And finding new people and slowly liking up and building a community and, and shit like that, you know? They're just gonna jump on whatever's already popular, whatever's yeah. already on their home screen. Uh, then it, like maybe they'll do a little bit of digging. Yeah. But they are, they feed off of the algorithm, find something they like, and then they spend money on it, right? Yeah. But the algorithm boost, the hype, originally comes from young people. So if you want to take over the the internet, you need to be targeting and engaging with people between the age of 12 and uh, 16. Right. Ideally. Right, okay. Yeah, and anything that's really successful on the internet and blows up, it starts with those group of people liking it. Right, okay, fair. Yeah. yeah, and those are the main drivers of the algorithm, actually. Damn, marketing. That's another thing in marketing I did not know. Fuck. Yeah, no, like this This has come up a lot for me, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and fair. that's why even politicians are doing it, because, yeah, the, eight, the, the 14-year-old can't vote for you, but he will like uh, oh, 60 times more things than like a, a 50-year-old vote. Right? And that will make the algorithm make it so that your yeah. video show up way more. Yeah, so then, so then instead of just one 50-year-old seeing it now, like, I don't know, 30, 50-year-olds are going to see it. what the fuck are we doing? We should be targeting the 16th. Of- yes, no, bro. No, not like that. That sounds weird. No, yeah. But marketing-wise. <laughs> yes, bro. That's why we need to get on the fucking clip. Bro, yeah, they yeah, got yeah, short yeah. attention spans, reels, TikToks, that thing, bro. I, I, I would be Which classified supposed to be as doing. one of them. As, or, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which we're supposed right. to be doing, but we didn't want to, and now I'll, I'll do it anyways. Fuck it. So, anyways, okay. Italy is fucked. Uh, a few policies, like, just to give people an idea of what she supports. So, flat tax was one. Yeah. The other one is that, um, uh, so she's going to say that if you aren't going to university and you don't have a job, she's going to force you to have a job and it's going to pay you. There's no minimum wage, see, this, by the, the way. This is so fucking funny, bro. So she's going to force people to see, work for w- without a minimum th- pay and also <laughs> no life insurance or any insurance at the work as well. You're just going to have to work. You might get paid two years, three years an hours, but at least you're working and you're not sitting on your ass doing nothing all day. You know what the fuck this sounds like, bro? Yeah. Communism. Uh-huh. No, I'm not kidding, bro. <laughs> That's literally communism, bro. If you don't have a job and you're not studying, we have the right to just take you, put you in a job, and yeah, decide your wage. Yeah, at least with communism, like you got to have like more or less equal pay. Yes, or equal dividends. Yes, at so this, this point, is more like, like slavery. Yeah, uh, but yeah, but like it, a lot of communist regimes didn't pay you much, anyways. You know. Yeah. So uh, like the ideologically, it's a bit different, but yeah, in yeah. the end, it was mostly the same. Um, but yeah, that's that's fucked up. That, that's really fucked up. That's so and that's so funny. Like the Italian, right? Like <laughs> like when I studied the Mussolini times, right? Like it's funny how many ideas he and inspiration they just took from the communists. Yeah. But it's not because I think in Italy it's not genuinely that much about ideology as it is about power and just yeah. me and my homies. You know? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I me do, and my gang them of of, of yeah. right wings or left wings or whatever. Bro, yeah. But this next point really fucking pissed me off, and it was about abortion, right? And um. Basically, she said that I'm not making abortions illegal. I'm just adding a regulation to the part on abortions where it says that you're legally allowed to abort. I'm saying you are only legally allowed to abort if, let's say, you can't avoid the circumstances. But we're also going to make it so that even harder for you to abort. And if you have the baby, we'll give you financial help. But what good is fucking financial help going to do? when you're going to have to carry a baby with okay, you for okay, so long. Okay, financial help for people who are struggling and decide to keep a baby? Yes, yeah. big, big ups. Financial help for people that you force to have abortions? No. Still big ups, <laughs> but don't force them to have the abortion. No. Uh, not, sorry, to not have the abortion, to have the baby. Yeah, and she's yeah. going to make it extremely hard for people to have abortions. Yeah, so uh, the way modern day politics works yeah. is that it's not really about the specifics. If she's anti-abortion, she's going to do whatever she can to get yeah. rid of abortion, right? So. And her uh, political agenda was basically her saying that she's a Christian woman, She's a, good, a lady and a mother. And that was basically what got a lot of the people to vote for her. 
That's so you fucking not. funny, bro. I shit you not. That was her thing. Okay, you go up. I am a Muslim man. <laughs> I am a brother, a son, and a man. Yeah. People are gonna be like, "What the fuck? Get the fuck off!" <laughs> <laughs> and and if if you don't have a job, I will force you to work for low wages. <laughs> Comunista. Tell me that does not sound like an extremist Islamist. Like people will be yeah. like, "Yo, you extremist Islamist." Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I will impose. I will impose what the Quran says on the on national law. Yeah. Around the borders. Yeah. Extremist. Extremist. Oh, but it's funny when she does it. You know, she's a Christian lady, a mother. No, of the Christian extremism is always fine. Yeah. Muslim extremism is not like, fine at all. Which it isn't. Ever. It isn't. It isn't. But it's always seen as like the most horrible thing on the planet. <laughs> you know, when it's not. You know, it is pretty horrible, yeah. but it's not the most horrible. And yeah. Christian extremism is always seen as like, yeah, it's, it's you know, it's a all political right. view. It's all right. It's a political view. It's yeah. fine if you yeah, have it. We just have people like this we, we, every now and then. We're just Christians, innit? We're just Christians doing we Christian be- things. Believe in the Almighty Lord. Yeah, it's fine because we've had Christianity for longer, innit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the thing, the thing with the Muslim thing is, it comes from brown people. Yeah, and like they can't yeah. be trusted. Like, look at Khabib from down the road. He stole a fiver off me once. I've and never ne- got it back. Have you ever seen a brown priest? And I have, in fact, never seen a brown He's priest. He's just so much more trustworthy. Jesus <laughs> Christ himself, you know, he was a white. Even Jesus is white. He's yeah, from Germany to, or something. And we have to try and be like Jesus. Yeah. We have to try and follow his path. That's why I'm everything. white, because Jesus was white. Yeah, and if you're not white, then you can't be Christian. I think Jesus is from Edinburgh. <laughs> oh, I think so too, my. <laughs> Oh, right, let's cut that out. <laughs> no, let's keep it in. That was, that was, let's cut. Okay. Uh, let's fight for now. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, bro, interesting fact. Yeah. You saw Georgia Meloni is like the party of Georgia Meloni. I think it's a direct descendant, or if not, almost a direct descendant of the Mussolini's party. I think so. Yeah. Or the fascist party made after Mussolini's party was made illegal. Yeah. Um, and did you know part of the reason why that party and that lineage was allowed to survive for so long is because one of the first things NATO did uh, in Italy was persecute. Uh, and help the Italian right wing go after the communists and left wing yeah. in Italy, because as soon as we were done with the with the cold uh, with the World War Two, we went into the Cold War, which was against the communists. Yeah. And in going against the communists, we instantly adopted all of the same allies that Hitler had in the right wing. Yeah. Uh, and the the right wing was always sympathetic to all of Hitler's beliefs, except for the genocidal ones. Yeah. Um, and even some of them, they're a bit sympathetic towards. Right. Yeah. But you know what's even funnier is that there are videos of Giorgio Meloni. Um, let's say out there of her defending Mussolini and saying why Mussolini is exactly, good exactly and also her party is fascist and she is a fascist because yeah, like her yeah. emblem that she uses is a uh, is the flame with the Italian flag on it and that's yeah. like symbolic but of it the, doesn't have the Fasca so how can it be fascist <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's symbolic <laughs> of <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, her like a lot of members have celebrated let's Wait, say which okay sorry go on, go, uh, go, on, go on like a lot of members in a party have been seen dressing up as the SS really yeah that's okay and they go around saying like ah oh, it's fine it's fine attire to be going around in right I'm just DSS yeah in it. and some of them have <laughs> been seen to salute each other doing the hail. really yeah okay that's pretty that's okay wow wow okay that's pretty intense yeah. and they even celebrated the day of the march on Rome or something yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Which was the day that Mussolini marched on Rome with yeah. the brown shirts or black shirts? Yeah, I, I think remember so. Anymore. I don't also know. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's funny by the way, like like the Fasca, the symbolism. Do you see how the window's broken? Yeah. Yeah, it's bro- fucked. So we need to fix that. Bro, I'm, I'm t- uh, trying to on. explain. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know what the Fasca symbol is? The uh, no. It's so the Fasca is like a. It's a way to you get a bunch of sticks, you bundle them together, and you tie them together. Yeah, it's a very early Roman like weapon, I think. I don't know where it's from, but it's it's something to do oh, with weapon, Italy, right? Um, and then at the end of that fasca, you can like attach like a hammer or something, or like a, an, an axe, right? And the idea is many sticks together, strong, <laughs> like a handle, you know? yeah. Uh, so it's like a normal axe, but the handle is made up of, of a lot of sticks, a lot of sticks. And so the idea is, you know, with with fascism, is you know, a lot of sticks together, strong, one people, one everything. Bahide. And uh, it's, just, it's just funny to me because that also j- sounds exactly like a communist saying. Uh, yeah. And I remember thinking that in, like when I was 15 in, in history class. <laughs> <laughs> 15 uh, in history class already yeah. had these big thoughts. Yeah, of course, bro. Jeez. Like, bro, it's crazy how much how much like symbolism and I just straight up ideology was stolen uh, in fascism from yeah. the communists. It's just so funny how it's all mixed together. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Shall we talk about ourselves? Uh yeah, but one thing on the NATO thing, bro. Yeah. Like, I think it's pretty fucked up because I, I the, the reason why I thought about this is because I saw she made comments against NATO in the past, mm-hmm. uh, and then now she she backed around and said, "No, uh, we're gonna be for uh, Ukraine." 
Uh, but yeah, I was like, how can you be against NATO since they're the only reason you guys fucking survived in Italy? Mm. It's the fact that NATO is very known for promoting mm-hmm. fascism and looking the other way against communist persecution. Right. Or left-wing persecution. Gotcha. Life updates uh, for a few minutes, for uh, 10, 10, 15 minutes. Let's, let's do that, yeah? Yeah, go What on. What you been up to? Oh, bro. Since the last, like, let's say, since the last podcast. Oh, my God, bro. Bro, that's like... All right, in the past month, activities in the past month. Okay, so like in the last seven months, I uh, I finished mm, doing nothing for a semester. Fair. Um, I was working full time at Dallas Berserk, trying to trying to get some money. I had a side project going with these NFTs, blah 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 blah. Which is public. No, not anymore. Oh, private uh, again. We, I abandoned it to come back to this. If you don't remember. No, because you said that you're still going to do that as well, right? No, bro. Oh, you abandoned it fully now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, but that was Puppeteers, a uh, pretty interesting project. But you, uh, did, but do marketing, you did do marketing for it though, no? Yeah, and then I realized how much work it was and I realized ah, what okay, I'm doing fair. for them, I w- might as well do for Midnight Kebab. Okay, We're fair, missing yeah. a few people. We did a feasibility feasibility check. We're like, okay, it's not feasible and the market's going to shit, so it's yeah. not worth our time right now. Uh, we'd rather it spend on something more secure. Yeah. Or if it's going to be risky, something like this, where it's my own art, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was a lot of fun and um, met some good people in the process, but we had to shut that down. Yeah. Uh, then over the summer I went to Rome okay. for a month I went the day that you left yeah which is funny <laughs> no it's not funny bro because then I came back and uh, Max and Kevin were still there yeah and Patrick and I hung out with them and Yayo I saw for a day hmm. then um, I went to this thing called Web Lab which is pretty interesting mm. it's like a crypto community in Amsterdam <laughs> uh, okay I hate, I, I, I hate those kind of events yeah, like, I've been to one I, I understand where you're, where you're coming from but this one here is different bro Right, what was it? Um, it's just web lab. Okay, fair. I'll but uh, it it's I think what makes this one different is the people who are organizing it genuinely care about people a lot more. The people who come in, it's it's a good mix of creatives and people who are in Web3. Right. So, like you know, you'll find a surprisingly lot of amount of artists, both musical and just normal art. Gotcha. Um, so, so that was really nice. Um, and the first time I went, it was not as nice as the second time, but the second time I went, I really fell in love with it. You went two times. Yeah, the first time was in May. The second time was like a few months back. Okay, fair. Or a month back now. The hell is that, bro? Uh, we just got shot on. No, you're kidding, bro. Yeah, we j- I, I got shot on a lot. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we just got shot on, bro. <laughs> no! Oh. You asshole. This bird. Let's just end it there, huh? How about that? Fuck life. Oh, bro, Th- this fuck is our life. life. This is our life yeah, this now. Is, this is it. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Standing on the shore, looking into the horizon. One by one, the waves whisper help, we're dying. Witnesses will not find the peace among the clues. Listening to Bowie sing the words, not something you can change.